Okay guys, <coughs> getting ready to uh, install the Eco right now. While I just lost my screwdriver somewhere. There it is. Well, I gotta remove this fan, chassis fan back here out of the case. And I gotta install this fan with the radiator on it. It says to install it with the screws provided. The only screws I saw were these ones. They're huge. So I think these are the right ones, but also, I don't know if you could tell, but they don't really go in very well. And there's no thread into the fan. So I'm assuming that these screws create their own thread while you're screwing it into it. It doesn't really have that in the instructions. Or it might, but I'm a guy and I don't really read things all the way through, but it doesn't seem like it's got written on the instructions, so it's got like point form shit. <clears throat> Alright, anyways. Moving right along. So, I'm not going to show you how I removed the, or installed the back bracket, because my case is just a little bit different. It doesn't actually, uh, I don't think it had in mind the 1366 uh, socket in mind. So, uh, I had to kind of take out the video cards, loosen up the motherboard just to put in the back bracket. And I wasn't going to put you guys through the torture of seeing all that. Okay. So, looks like I screwed myself again with trying to hide most of my cables and I hid the fan cable in behind the motherboard which I don't know if you could tell or see I tried to put a light back there but there's a cable like right there so what I'm gonna have to do is turn off the camera and fish out the wire okay so I I'm not going to uh, fish out the wires for this because that means I got to take out the whole fucking motherboard and I really don't feel like doing it so I'm going to get a pair of snips here and we will do this <sighs> what a waste of a very good quiet fan but now let's see if the cable comes out there she is finished Okay, so what I'm going to do now is install some of the screws that I took out of the motherboard. Okay, so now that I got the screws back in, now it's not like when they show you uh, the CES show where it's like they just have the motherboard and then like. Uh, and it right in the case and it's like bang right in there this is like the real situation this is how the shit really goes and things that you actually run into all the time so let's see okay trust me you want to eat your fucking weedies before you fucking put these screws in And I guess if you really care about the color of your screws, then uh, the silver doesn't really match with anything, but I don't really care about uh, the back of my case. Okay. That part of it, Vinito. So, all we're left with, hopefully, is putting this guy in. And it already comes with a thermal paste. So, supposedly, all I gotta do is use the thumb screws. Okay. 
got that guy. You know what? I already see some problems. I know exactly what's going to happen. I, I won't be able to close my case. Hmm. Well. There you go. There's another thing you're going to run into. Here, let me take the camera out. See how... Let me flip the camera so you guys can see. That's where they're the lip would go but if I was smart and I actually looked at it and hopefully you guys won't make the same mistake is you're gonna basically move this so that it goes up or down which I'm gonna put mine up because I'm an idiot okay I'm gonna turn off the camera and actually install this properly okay so that's how it should be installed here, let me put a light in there. See, you actually got the space right there for the lip of the case to actually uh, close. Now we're the cover. And all that there is left to do, hopefully there's enough light you guys can see. Probably not. Let's see, I'm going to try to put the light in there so you can see. There are four thumb screws to put in. Which are easy enough. Well, once the thumb screws are installed, this one is for the pump. And they say you're not supposed to, this one right here is for the pump. So you're not supposed to have uh, in and then this one's for the CPU that one goes right down here that's it that's it and you're done. Okay, so I have the Eco ALC installed now. Um, here's the temperature of my CPU at idle, which is 25 degrees Celsius. With my old uh, copper heatsink, I was getting at idle 37 degrees Celsius. So that's already a different a difference of 12 degrees Celsius. What I'm going to do now is do the same thing, run the Prime 95 for 5 minutes and uh, see what the temperature is like at 5 minutes uh, with maxed out uh, usage of the CPU. So let me just press OK. And as you can see right there, all the cores are maxed out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll turn it back on in five minutes and see what the temperature has gone up to so there you have it five minutes later uh, CPU is holding at 50 degrees Celsius uh, CPU is still at maximum load that's 25 degrees Celsius difference between my old copper heatsink and this advanced liquid cooling system from Coolit Systems Overall, I would uh, definitely recommend it. It was easy enough to install. You've seen some of the mistakes I made, but that's because uh, I was really sick and I wasn't really thinking when I was installing it. But if you're building a system from scratch and you could dish out that extra cash for a liquid cooling system that you don't ever have to maintain, I definitely recommend uh, this unit. So please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.